Hey, Game Makers! Know that super awesome character generator that MV comes with? Wanna know how to make it even awesomer? Good, because today we're looking at how to add graphics to RPG Maker MV's character generator. Woo! First, you'll want to create the graphics you're going to add in. You'll need a battler graphic, the damage graphic, the walking graphic, and the face graphic. Now, to locate the generator's resources, you'll want to go to Program Files, Katakawa, RPG Maker MV, and Generator. If you're using the Steam version, I have no idea where to find this because I am not, so... Happy hunting! As a quick note, Variation refers to the default display graphic, TBD refers to the damage graphic, TV is the walking graphic, SV is the side view battlers, and face is quite obvious. Basically, once you have your graphics created, you'll just need to throw them into these. First off, go to Variation. Another note, if you do not have a Variation graphic created, the rest of the sprites won't be accessible. For this example, we're going to be adding a hair ribbon, less of a default headband and more of an Aerith-esque ponytail ribbon. Click on female. Now I'm going to open icon underscore acca underscore p02. I'm going to edit this one as it's got very little added on to the basic template. Open your created battler file. Take one of the sprites and copy paste it onto the template. Now go to save as and save it under the correct file name. As we're doing a hair ribbon accessory, we're going to rename it to icon underscore accb underscore p08. accb shows that it goes under accessory 2, and the number at the end will add it after all of the default ones as they go from 1 to 7. Make sure you're saving it in the correct location. Next, since we already have the battler sprite open, go back to the generator folder and go into the sv folder. Again, female. As I'm using an edit of the default ribbon sprite, I'm going to be using those as a guide. So we're going to open up sv underscore accb underscore p06 and sv underscore accb underscore p06 underscore c. This will be the main file and the color overlay file. Now we head over to our new graphic and duplicate the layer onto sv underscore accb underscore p06. Hide the old layer and save as the new one. Make sure the number in the name is the same as whatever you made the variation graphic. In our case, 8. Now we're going to duplicate our graphic again onto the next image. This is where it gets a little interesting. Basically, the orange and gray on this graphic let the generator know where the colors are that the generator can change. If your graphic is all one color, make everything orange. If not, just select the same two colors and paint your sprite however you wish. Orange being color 1 and gray being color 2. After, use the background color to clear out the old graphic so the new one is on an all white background as well. Then again, save as and replace the original number with the new one. Now we can close these. Next we'll do the walking sprite. Open that up and head back to the generator folder. Click on TV, female, and again we're going to open up the 6 accessory B graphic and the underscore C version. The steps we've just covered will be repeated for all of the remaining overworld graphics we need to add. Duplicate or copy the new graphic layer, save as the new correct name, and then change the colors to tell the generator where it can modify. Repeat this again for the damage sprite. With only the face graphic left, open up your new face graphics. Go back to the generator and click Face Female. For the face graphics, each part of the image that can be color changed in the generator has its own separate graphic, as opposed to what we did for the other graphics. Duplicate your new graphics over their respective old ones and go to save as. These graphics are labeled as underscore C2 underscore M016 and underscore C1 underscore M017. C1 and C2 refer to the colors. The M16 and M17 numbers seem to be the numbers it's layered at. For example, hair seems to be at 3, facial expressions seem to be at 1, and accessories seem to range from 13 to 17. Make sure you name them correctly based on what it is you're adding. And if you're not sure, just look at the other default generator graphics. We're just adding a ribbon, so M16 and M17 should be fine. Save them both, making sure to change their number. In our case, ACCB underscore P08. Now that we have all of our new graphics in the right place, if you have MV open, close it and reopen it. Otherwise, our graphics won't take effect. Now let's go find our new super cute hair ribbon. It should be under accessory 2 at the very end. Woohoo! It worked! Let's save this character real fast and see our new generator option in action. Aw, isn't she so adorable? And that is how you add new graphics to MV's generator. 
If you have any other tutorial requests, feel free to ask me in the comments. See you later, gamers!